Shall we pray? Good and gracious God, giver of life, giver of hopes, giver of dreams, we invite you into this room, into the hearts of these graduates, that they might be given strength and courage. May their expectations be large, the view of the world be tremendous, and may their hopes for what's next guide them forward. Go before them, await for them. Go behind them, strengthen them. Stand at their side to be their ally in life. Fill them that they might serve our world, our community, their purpose. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Good morning. Uh, as you'll see on your program, I'm, I'm Gary Branch, and it's my privilege to serve as president of Coastal Alabama Community College. And uh, my responsibility at this time, if you'll notice, is to introduce uh, our special guest of the graduates and those who have been important in the development of their lives and the encouragement and the tenacity that has helped them come to this magic point in their life, this milestone day. So if you would, when I call, when I call your name, uh, would you please stand so that we can show you appropriate appreciation by, by, by pl uh, applauding and, and thanking you for being here. Uh, would all of the parents of our graduates please stand? Yeah. How about the grandparents of our graduates? Would you please stand? Look at that. Yeah. The children of our graduates, please stand. The grandchildren of our graduates, please stand. Any of you here? All right. How about husband and wives? There we go. There we go. Brothers and sisters. Come on. Come on now, you aunts and uncles, would you please stand? You had a part in this day happening. I know we have some cousins here. Would you please stand? How about you girlfriends, boyfriends, and fiancés? Come on. If you just happen to be a friend of one of these graduates, would you please stand? And how about you in-laws, please stand? You had a part in this. Yes, you had a part in this. And last and certainly not least, um, None of this would be possible today, and uh, none of us would be here. Graduates, family, friends, uh, if it were not for this group. I'd like for the uh, faculty and the staff to stand and let us all thank them for their energy, for their knowledge, for their skill, for their dedication in making this day possible for these graduates. Faculty and staff, would you please stand and let us recognize you. The faculty is, uh, and staff, that's the heart of this institution. You graduates, you're the blood. You keep that heart pumping. You make it a reason for our to be here today and to share in this great moment in the progress of your life. Thank you. We have some other important guests that I'd like to introduce very quickly. We have Mr. Paul England, uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the Alabama Southern Community College Foundation, which with the merger still remains in existence. Uh, Mr. England, would you please uh, stand for us to recognize you? Thank you, sir. The Honorable Jack Weaver and his wife, uh, Marty, who serves on the uh, Alabama Southern Community College Foundation. Thank you. 
Mr. Grand, uh, Greg Sheehan, the Superintendent of Education of Monroe County. Superintendent Sheehan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. James Wheeler, another member of the Alabama Southern Community College Foundation. I have Mr. Barry Hendricks from the Thomasville City Schools here. Mr. Hendricks, would, would you please come? thank you. Thank you so much. And we have uh, here today Representative Thomas Jackson. Representative Jackson, would you please stand and let these people show their appreciation to you for all of your time, your hard work in the Alabama legislature representing the needs of this area. We have uh, Circuit Clerk Bob McMillan from here in Monroeville. Uh, Circuit Clerk McMillan, would you please stand, please stand. Thank you very much for all of you who have contributed in making this milestone day possible. Jenna Frock. My name is Holly Seifert. And we are the SGA presidents of Monroeville and Thomasville campuses. We want to begin by thanking faculty and staff, family and friends, for gathering to celebrate the graduating class of 2018. We would not be here today without your guidance and support. Fellow graduates, congratulations on your accomplishments. You have each worked hard to get to this moment. Right now, some of you might be reflecting on your time spent at Coastal Alabama Community College, while others are just ready for lunch. But let's not get too far. Let's take a minute to focus on some nostalgic moments from our time at Coastal Alabama. Nostalgia for some of you is remembering all the times you stressed before a test or crammed before finals week, or perhaps your mind has wondered to the confusion in every science class, or why you must read another poem. Nostalgia for the rest of you is remembering the fun events where pizza is usually served. Also remembering your first day of class, hoping you wouldn't get lost, or maybe you're remembering a few weeks ago when you rode a mechanical bull at the spring fling. Years from now, when we tell our stories about our time at Coastal Alabama, it might start with saying such as, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, or once upon a time, then we will begin telling a chapter from the story of our life. The story of our lives began when we were born. The first chapter consists of all the funny toddler moments that only our parents can recall. The next few chapters focus on our education. In elementary school, life was easy and everything was fun. In middle school, we focused on being cool and trying to fit in. High school, for many of us, was the time of our lives where we enjoyed music and sports and friends. These chapters shaped us into who we are. For example, we discovered what traits we desire in a friend. Also, we realized the differences among people and which career path we wanted to take. All our journeys might differ, but they each led us to the same place. Whether you are an introverted athletic student with an undecided major or an extroverted music enthusiast with a chosen major, your next chapter began at Coastal Alabama Community College. During our community college experience, we have met new people and shared our stories. You will remember all the moments that we mentioned at the beginning of our speech and also memories that are solely your own. Community college is a stepping stone that provides more guidance, experience, and knowledge for our future. Today marks a new chapter in our stories as we turn the page to either continue furthering our higher education or prepare to join the workforce. As we transition into another year, another place, and another challenge in this new chapter of our lives, remember to make it a chapter or to make it a, a chapter worth telling. No one enjoys a boring book. Make sure that you truly live. Take a walk, soak up the sun, travel to new places. Experience different cultures, learn new languages, and acquire new skills. Love completely and unconditionally. Be spontaneous. Go to that concert and make it, or make a day trip to a new place. Dance and sing, even if you can't. 
Work hard in everything you do. Be aware that laziness never achieves anything. Learn from your mistakes. Failure truly is the best teacher. Holly and I want to end by challenging you, the class of 2018, to make every chapter count. We will leave here today embarking on different paths. However, we will all reflect and tell stories of our time at Coastal Alabama Community College. We hope that you are all successful in all your future endeavors and congratulate you once again on your achievements thus far. Remember, the world is already filled with multiple stories of regret. Make sure that your story positively influences and extraordinarily brightens the world around you. Thank you. Wow, uh, uh, kind of makes what I'm going to talk about a little, a little unnecessary. Uh, but I do have something important I want to say. Uh, uh, with the creation of this new college, Coastal Alabama Community College, a little over a year ago, I thought it would be appropriate this morning if uh, my speech dealt with the history of higher education, going all the way back to Massachusetts when Harvard College was founded, all the way through to last year when Coastal Alabama Community College was, um, um, <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't be frightened. Uh, I will have a, uh, in 20 minutes, we'll have a rest break. <laughs> and, uh, and I promise not to speak for more than 45 minutes. Hey, listen, obviously I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, I am old. Now, some of you may have noticed that already, uh, but I'm old. I am 75 years old. I've lived on this earth 27,375 days. Think about that. You know, I was reading recently, and this kind of discouraged me, that the average lifespan of an American male is only 70 years old. That's only 25,550 days. I'm living on borrowed time. <laughs> In most of our lives, there are fewer than 20 of what I call milestone days or milestone events. If you think of them, and I'll name a few, but the, the list obviously a lot more lengthy than what I'm going to share, but a milestone event in your life. And I can think back on the milestone events in my life and they're still occurring at 75 years old. But in our lives, there are somewhere around 20 of these days, depending on how much you want to glean them down. What is a milestone day? What is a milestone event? The day you were born. That is a milestone day in your life. If you hadn't been born, you would be hit, uh, sitting there this morning listening to this entertaining graduation speech. The day you die is a milestone day. Now, you're not around afterwards to know anything about it. But that's a milestone day in your life. And for the, in the lives of those who knew you and shared your life with you. The day you get married will be a milestone day. The, the day you get divorced might also be a milestone day. <laughs> the day you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior.
that is the most important milestone day. The day our first child is born, that's a milestone day. For you grandparents, and I are one of you, the day that first grandchild and the others are born, that and those are milestone days in our lives. And most of you, because of your youth and young age, uh, you have these milestones to look forward to. Well, I'm reminded, and this is certainly proof of it, that we're in the season of graduations. And every graduation by established and irrational custom must have a graduation speaker. And I'm the graduation speaker. Now, most Alabamians can name the starting offensive tackle on the 1950 Auburn and Alabama football teams before they could recognize who was the graduation speaker at their high school or even their college. I can't remember. So there's one thing that all graduation speakers must grasp, and I certainly must grasp that today, that you really, really don't care much about what I'm going to have to say to you. Uh, I know, I've been there, you know. Listen, in my 75 years, I've been a higher education administrator for 50 of those. For 37 of those, I've been president at what was Faulkner State, and what is now coastal Alabama. And prior to that, I was president of another college up in North Alabama. I was a dean at the University of Georgia and at Troy State University and worked as a graduate assistant at the University of Alabama. I was part of founding a brand new community college in Georgia and worked at several others. So believe me when I tell you I've been to a lot of graduations. I probably would put myself in the top 10 with all the years I've had in higher education of people in this country who have attended or spoken at graduation ceremonies. The graduation speaker, and I must realize, and I must grasp the reality that my role here today is comparable to that of the corpse at a good wake. His presence is considered necessary for the event, but other than that, very little is expected of him. I won't let you down. I'm reminded of Socrates, you all, in the good education that you've received here at Coastal and Alabama Southern before it became a Carter Coastal. Uh, you've read about Socrates, you've, you've studied Socrates. Well, Socrates, he lived a long time ago. Socrates was very smart. I'm talking about him this morning. Socrates was a teacher. Socrates talked a lot. And he gave very long speeches. He also was poisoned, some believe, by his friends and students. I don't want that to happen to me, so I promise that I'm getting to the end of what I'm going to share with you this morning. I'm of the opinion that most of us, before we were born, if we could have taught while we were inside our mother who was carrying us that we would have said to her, I don't want to be born. Hey, mom, how about we forget this birthing business? I'd like to stay right here 
Okay. It's so nice and pleasant in here. Nobody is bothering me. My, I don't have brothers and sisters to have to contend with. I'm able to get all the rest and sleep that I want. I won't even have to pay taxes if I stay in here. So, tell you what, Mom. Let me stay here until I get my act together. Oh, somewhere around 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. Now, I realize, just as you do, how ridiculous that concept and that notion is. But I also think that there are a lot of us, and I include myself in this group, who feel exactly like that reluctant newborn or preborn infant did when he was saying, hey, mom, let me stay here. Just as we could not put off our birth on the day that you were brought into this world or on the day 75 years ago that I was brought into mine, just as I can't do that, couldn't do that, nor could you have done that, the invent, and, 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 uh, invent, goodness, that's a long word. <laughs> the sure fact <laughs> uh, of time has brought us to where we are today. The inevitability. Ability. So, just as we could not put off our birth, the invent, and we had to begin our lives and pursue where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to contribute in this world today. In a very real sense, we are present here today at your commencement. I don't like commencement. Commencement has a ring of finishing. At your graduation, you're graduating here today but this is not the end, it's just the beginning. There will be many opportunities for you to have professional growth and personal growth, to experience pain, to experience pleasure, accomplishments. Those opportunities are ahead of you. This is a new birth for you. Certainly we all have time when we could like to stand still and savor the good old days. The older you get, the better the good old days look, by the way. Um, but we all would like to just stand still for a moment and enjoy the moment. Um, I encourage you to do that before the sun sets today, graduates. Just stand still and think, who got you here? Who sacrificed that you may be here celebrating this milestone day? And pat yourselves on the back because you have become one of the biggest minority groups in the world. You have graduated from community college and such a small percentage of this world's population ever get as far as you have gotten today. So, just as certainly as I can see in the eyes of some of you, you know, hey, let's slow down. Let's just, let's, you know, especially people of my age and younger, let's savor this moment. I'm going to tell you something very personal and private about uh, Peggy and me. And Peggy's here. She's my bride. We've been married two years. And uh, what a joy and privilege it is to to have her share my life and my being able to share hers after being alone for so many years. But just as certainly as I see that desire in some eyes to, hey, let's slow down. Let's, let's, let's savor what we've got. Uh, Peggy and I, every night before we go to bed, and 
Of course, this wouldn't happen to you, but when you get our ages, you can understand more. Even on our honeymoon night, we watched the Waltons. <laughs> now, I would guess that there are fewer than five of you graduates who know who the Waltons are. But I don't care how late it is. When I finish up, when we finish up today's graduation and tonight's graduation in Bruton and whatever time we get home tonight and however tired we may be, we will watch the Waltons. <laughs> now, the Waltons, briefly, went, it was one of the top series for nine years. I've got all nine years of them recorded. <laughs> we watch a different episode every night. Uh, we're back on season one after finishing the other uh, nine uh, last couple of weeks ago. I've watched the Waltons through its entirety probably 50 times, and that's conservative, you know. It's about a family who lived in the mountains of Virginia during the Depression. And it shows how that family with those seven children, how they lived and coped in the values that they shared in their faith, in their work ethic. I don't know if you guys have anything comparable to that. But we all want to pose, pause. But just as certainly as I see that in my eyes, in you older folks' eyes, and some of you guys up here, you, you guys are old enough. Some of you are old enough to remember the walking. Um, I see in your eyes an excitement. I see in your eyes anticipation. I see in your eyes potential, a new confidence that you've never had in yourself before. I see in your eyes your believing in the potential that because you have gotten this far, that you can actually make a difference in the world. And you can. I'm a first-generation college student. My dad was an orphan, and I was a steel worker. Uh, he was a steel worker. Uh, never thought about going to college. The circumstances and people who were interested in me and wanted to mentor me, encourage me, and, and see where I am today. I have the privilege of being with you today. I would never, never, never have thought this day would be possible for me. But you, and by the way, I started my higher education at a community college before going on to the University of Alabama. But you have the potential to accomplish more great things and to make a difference in your family, in your church, in your community, in your state, and in your life. I ask you this question. What will your life resemble in five years from now? Think about it. What are your plans? This is a graduation, not a commencement. What will your life resemble 10 years from now, 15 years from now? I can promise you that the only controlling factor in that is you. You. People have sacrificed for you. Worked the extra shift. Stayed up with you. Perhaps to help you study and keep your mind on what you're doing. Your horizons are only limited by how far you want to go. 
from this graduation day. This is a milestone day. How many milestone days more do you have in your future? I hope there are more than 20. I hope your life is filled with milestone days. I'm leaving you now. I'm closing this out. I talked probably longer than I should have. But there are two thoughts I want to leave with you. If you forget all the other, really, uh, this is a, the, the most important. This is the essence of what I'm trying, hopefully, to get across to you. Almost. And this is simple for you to re for you to remember. Almost is never enough. Think about that. Think about it. As proud as you are today of this milestone event in your life, five years from now, will this be enough? Hopefully not. Almost is never enough in whatever you do in life. Nobody celebrates second place. You have the key to those milestone days. And just remember, time is too slow for those who won't, and you won't, you won't. Time is too swift for those who fear. Time is too long for those who grieve. Time is too short for those who rejoice But those of you, and I'm speaking to more than the graduates, those of you, graduates and others, while time's too short and slow for what we want, it's too swift for the fear, it's too long for grieve, grieving, too short for those who rejoice. This is the most important sentence in my comments tonight. But for those who love time is an eternity. God bless you and thank you. Good morning. Will the candidates please rise? Dr. Branch, we present to you the Coastal Alabama Community College 2018 candidates for graduation. The faculty of Coastal Alabama Community College certify that these students have fulfilled all requirements for their degrees and certificates. And by the way, before I confer these degrees on you, let me not let you know how significant this is. You are part of the largest graduating class in all of the community colleges in Alabama. <laughs> Coastal Alabama. Coastal Alabama is now the largest community college in the two-year college system 
by the number of credit hours that we produce. We're above those colleges in those big cities and those areas. You're part of the largest class. So it is now my special privilege by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Alabama Community College System Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of the faculty and staff of Coastal Alabama Community College. And as a result of you, each of you, completing the requirements as, pres as prescribed by the college, it is my pleasure to confer on each of you your earned degree. Please step forward to the front as your name is called. It is now time to recognize our candidates. DeAndre Allen. Kijana Armstrong. Andrea Atchison. Jaquez Osborn. Quatez Austin. Amber Baldwin. Jediah Banks. Gavin Bearfield. Jalen Bell. Trevor Bonner. Dalton Boyette. Sage Boyette. Zachary Boyette. <laughs> Megan Brooks. <laughs> Tanner Brooks. <laughs> Tajane Brundage. Emily Bullard, Keandria Burroughs, Casey Busby, Brianna Campbell. Skylar Carson, Ladaris Carter, Tanya Causey, Christopher Chandler. William Cheney, Charmaine Chapman, Colton Clark, Ernestine Cooley, Markara Davis, Allison Dees, Allison Dees. 
Rancy Dees. James Drummond. Mercedes Dunnigan. Crystal Dakowski. Jenny Dias. Harley Evers. Hannah Few. Jordan Finkley. Amberis Fountain. Katrina Fox. Jenna Fry. Alexis Gallery. Wayne Gant. Taylor Gibson. William Goldman. <laughs> Natasha Gordon. <laughs> Angelica Green. <laughs> Christopher Griffin. Brady Grods, Ashley Harrison, Victoria Hodge. Carlisle Holder. Woo! Megan Horsley. Woo! Sharon House. John Hybert. Joseph Jackson. Stacy Jackson. Jayla Johnson. Jalen Johnson. Octavia Johnson. Kayla C. Jordan. Kayla M. Jordan. Trice Kelly.
Samson Kimbrough. Jennifer Kirkland. Melvin Kirkland. Hannah Knapp. Brianna Knight. Maddie Knight. Ja'Cory Lee. Adriana Lindsay. Lesia Lott. Amber Long. Kristen Matchett. Jadarius May. Alex McCaskey. <laughs> Stephanie McCaskill. <laughs> Taylor McCrory. Bethany McDougall. <laughs> Keandria McGill. <laughs> Raymond McGuire. Austin McKinley. <laughs> Brett McMullen. <laughs> Laura Miller. <laughs> Darian Marzet. Samuel Murph. Jamara Nettles. Willie Nettles. Bolton Newsom. <laughs> Nicholas Oliver. <laughs> Trayvon Osborne. Jalen Pate. Leandria Parker.
Lloyd Patrick Jr. <laughs> Mallory Peak. Benjamin Phillips. Jordan Phillips. Brandy Fallon. Mandy Powell. Ryan Powell. Ashlyn Preer. Herman Preer. Shonda Pugh. Germante Rankins. Page Reach. James Reddy. Patricia Richardson. Roy Rivers. Tredarius Robinson. Darian Rogers. Bria Royster. Taylor Sargent. Ashley Schultz. Sarah Seeley. Sharice Sellers. Aaron Sykes. Madison Sykes. Destin Sims. Clay Smith. Felicia Smith. James Smith. (laughs) 
Ryan Smith. Jordan Stabler. Joshua Stabler. Brian Stallworth. Garrett Stallworth. Tyler Stanley. DeAndre Stanton. Brooklyn Starks. Desmond Starling. Dustin Stringer. Holly Seifert. Wynn Thompson. Logan Dees Thompson. Austin Trahan. John Utsi. <laughs> Jessica Walston. <laughs> Arnisha Williams. Kaylin Williams. Delia Wright. And now, may the God who has given you the strength to achieve this milestone, this moment, may that same God give you strength to step into both the certainty and the uncertainty of your next chapter. May God give you grace to overcome every obstacle and joy to celebrate every victory. May God fill your hearts, your souls, your minds with dreams, with hopes, with visions for this ever-changing world. May you lead with courage, love with passion, give grace at every turn. And now, my God, bless them in the what's next of their lives. 
Amen. Amen. Amen.